Morning, it is. Win. Do, do not need chasing. Stop it. Yeah. Mm. Poor Winnie Hoof. I say he's poor. He's chasing cows. He's not poor at all. Come here. Here, show people your face. Come here. Win. Stop it. Here. Stand, stand here. Look at his poor face. Sit. Stand still for a minute. Stand still. Stand still for a minute. Look at his poor face. He got um. He got bitten, and it. <laughs> I don't know where he's taking them to, but he's driving the cows. It's a hell of a beastie little beast, isn't it? Look at that. He's proper bull-like. Some nice calves, actually, this year. These are all Chaz's calves, you know, our beautiful Chasne. Dirty, they need to come in, but it's too early, isn't it? The sheds are too hot, there's a risk of pneumonia for the calves, it's just all mm. but leaving them outside just results in field trashing. It's just how it is, isn't it? Come by with me. Good lad. Here, here, stand, stand, stand. We, we, no, we, good lad, good lad, good lad. So the other day you might have seen Roy nipped to get Johnny's dump trailer full of stuff. So here we have another load. Win, hey, here. Here we have another load of uh, rubble out of the village. Someone's doing a house up and they asked us if we could take it. So we said, obviously, yes, we can. At this point, any fill is good fill. So at some point, that fence will come out there and we'll start building that up. This fence here will come out completely and we'll start building this up because you can see there's a fair drop. Um, and that will be in preparation for the grazeway going in in like here and then here there's obviously going to be a raised platform that you're going to drive the Keenan along to there and then we'll have the feed star system that we've talked about before which is like a conveyor belt system if you haven't seen them and that you're just going to literally spew the uh like the contents of the Keenan onto the conveyor belt which will ferry it right to that end of the shed so there'll be no need for us to build a lane going round so Johnny's going to come back for his dump trailer this afternoon um so win here we're just gonna do one more job with it and get another load of stuff um before he gets here just to make use of it because you don't want to annoy him by here in your bed good boy so they're obviously doing the garden up and they want a bucket of shahat so i'm always taking the merlo with a bucket of shahat um and i'll take the valtara i can't stop calling it that now But he can't get through. I've done it! For once in my life though, it wasn't me, it was Roy. <laughs> it's a big hill, what can I say? It's a big hill. It's not funny. Boy, it's really fast. I won't even show you with me, it's really, really fast. So we scraped it and now we're gonna wash it and if needs be, I'll come back um, 
with the bobcat um with the bucket brush on and brush anything that's left I thought about the bobcat scraper but actually it's a road isn't it like you've got to be careful just glad it wasn't me <laughs> i'm not laughing get past it so i'm just having a little walk around there's been a bit of bad weather and also the cows have been very naughty and we knew that this would happen and they've pulled a couple of my plants out as you can see there on the floor how they've managed to get over there honestly i will never know um so i'm just going to stick these can you see there's three there stick them back in and stand them up and make sure they're all nice and but um yeah nothing looks dead to me seems all right that one looks a bit poorly but i think it'll be fine i'll straighten everything up it was a storm i can't really say like you know it, it was a storm lie down lie down lie down lie down Let's play a game. Is it dead or is it alive? Lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. Well done, good girl. This field is seriously thistly. Walk up, walk up, stand, stand. Walk up. Walk up, stand, stand, stand. We, 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 we stand. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. What you like on this one? Walk up, walk up. Come on, come on. Walk up, walk up. Ah, get it. Oh, what's your point? Ah, ah, ah. So it is literally October now and it's increasingly wet in the fields. So we're going to start bringing, we've already started bringing a few, but I think we're going to start bringing cattle in. Enough's enough. TB testing soon as well. So that always has a bearing on when you bring your cows in. So there's a group of uh, six bulls down there, little bullock things. Um, get those in close that gate someone may or may not have backed into the handle making it hard to shut It's only why you could put a trailer in the way of the camera. They're in. So when these guys went out, they were most tiny. Tiny they were. And they're grown up boys now, looking really healthy, shiny, the breasts of like fleshing up on the backs. Looking really good. For a dairy bread thing anyway. The offending load of muck that we're shifting that we accidentally spilled out in the village. Oh my God, I look so tiny down here. 
I swear I'm not. I'm not moving the seat because it's Rose driving. That would just be silly. I apologise unreservedly to Bolton Village for spewing SH1T along the road. So we were towing this trailer, we went up the hill and it just kind of like slooshed. Um, anyway, anyway. So we scraped it up with the Merlot first of all and got rid of um, the big bits that we could get and then we came along with the tanker with water in and we sluiced it down the best we could. Then I came along with a shovel um, and any bits that were in the road that looked like anyone could get them, I picked them up with the shovel and put them in the Merlot bucket. The only problem was by this time it got really late and it was completely pitch dark. The lights on the Merlot aren't brilliant, especially when you've got a big bucket on the front, so I couldn't actually see what I was doing, so that was bloody hard work. Anyway, we've gone through this morning and it isn't too bad. The road's muddy, but as you would expect, because it has had like a lot of um, SH1T dumped on it, but it is, um, none of it's unsafe or anything. Um, but yeah, thank God it didn't happen on the A66 because there would have been carnage and we wouldn't have been able to clear it up ourselves as fast as we did. So we are getting ready for winter, basically. Uh, Roy is spreading some slurder. Here is such slurrying. There is my gap in my wall. I cannot confirm nor deny he'll put a gap in the wall. I'm going to shut that gate over there, but if anyone wanted to see my spreading water that has accumulated in the tank, here it is. At some point, these will be completely outlawed. Apparently, they're not good for the environment. We'll all have to have dwibble bars. So this is just the water from the bottom of the tank. We are emptying it ready for stock to come into the cubicle shed. I'm just gonna close this gate while all of the stock is out of this field. Roy's driven them away with um, his pollutant slurry. And I want this gate closed. Still must get a new gate for this after one of the cows trashed it. Um, but to be fair, it's only annoying us. It's not impeding any of its, you know, functionality. <laughs> might actually be able to drive over it in the bobcat and it might come right. Now that is yockle spec. Everybody thinks they're being fed. So they're all you can't see making their way to the feeders because I started the quad bike. This is one of the downsides of feeding with a quad bike and then using it to get around. Everything thinks it's being fed at the same time. It's a great way for signaling sheep to come to you though. If you feed them with a quad bike and then you go in a field, they all mob you, it's great. So me and Roy are just gonna go and put a little fence up down the river. It's just like an area, a wet hole of a corner that we don't want animals going in. Yeah, you're up. Did the Merlot get stuck in a bog? Yes, of course it did. It's what we seem to do best at the moment. So I'm just putting a string line out. A very sparkly string line. Look at this. Like, we have a post hammer, but it's so soft. I'm just, whoa! Down. Down. In. Whoa! Back to tiny bit. Sorry. Down. Yeah, that'll do. getting stuck because we're actually believe it or not in a pond so this was just this was just the easier option so i stamped them all in i'm nowhere near they're going in like butter 
I'm going to say I am com like keeping completely out of the way. Um, and to be fair, this is a floodplain and this will last, what, three months, if that, and it will be washed out. So it just gets really tedious putting things like this up, to be perfectly honest. This one. Like, we're just making a mess with that. After February's flooding and show you what's happened to it. Fuck us, my cups in way now. God! Uh, it knows better than to trash it though. Kind of see um, all of that, including all them like rushes there, it's just wet. Wetness. So we're just doing this to keep the animals out. Fences don't stay up very good in that corner at all. Um, at all and if any livestock were to escape it's always in this corner and the sheep are due down here at some point and I don't want them getting over so we'll come and staple up tomorrow just pull right out a little bit oh, it's not that stuck at all right gently does it gently does it I do have a trailer on, which is going backwards on me. Eek. So you can see it runs from there, all the way down there. Oh, 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 he's going for it. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, what a mess. Oh no, he's going. Water scrawl, water scrawl. Hate a loader up there. Everybody says, like, a lot of people on YouTube especially say, oh, look at all that grass. All that grass comes with all that water, trust me. This is a wet hole of a farm. Like, nothing wrong with it, it's great and I love it. But yeah, when it's wet, it's really wet. Um, and yeah, it's just no good trying to get anything done tractor-wise, machinery-wise, or stock-wise when it is so um, soft underfoot. There's just no point. Show you something really... Something's going on with that light. I'll just show you something really quickly before it goes dark and because it's been fresh on my mind. It's hard underfoot. It's not too soft happily walking along um, and then all of a sudden you reach this area here and it turns into a giant puddle quiet you can actually hear the water running it's crazy that bird's ruining it but seriously you're ruining my video you're not even funny Skedaddle. Like fishing about. Are you ready? It's crazy. So we'll have to do some investigating down there. Um, there is an arable field here of somebody else's. So I have a sneaky suspicion that they've just driven with some heavier machinery over maybe a land drain or something and just collapsed it. And it's like rushing up from the nearest um, weak spot, which happens to be in the middle of the lane, which to be fair, it's a bit of a ball ache. Fair enough if it was a field, but like the middle of the lanes kind of makes it hard work to travel up and down in winter. Um, and I'll be coming up and down here quite regularly because the sheep will be down there. So we'll maybe have to have a look and sort it out. Oh, I've never been so grateful to see it raining in the village. It's as if I chose this day to say that there's bits arriving for the shed. As to further illustrate this, here is Roy driving down the lane with some bits for the shed. Oh, look at him go. 
We just find it easier when there's massive lorries turn up just to fly down the lane with the pallet forks. Bits for the shed. 